Providence Mayor Jorge Lorza has put his signature on the COVID relief money spending plan today. It includes $124 million in federal funds for the city of Providence. And just a short time later, he joined our Kim Kalunian live in studio to talk about how that money will be spent and what it means for the capital city. Kim joins us now with the breakdown. Kim. Well, an initial round of American Rescue Plan Act money has already been allocated, but this second tranche includes close to $31 million for a critical issue in the capital city, housing. $124 million is set to be injected into Providence thanks to the American Rescue Plan Act. It's the second round of federal funding bound for the city in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. On Thursday, the city council signed off on the spending plan, and Mayor Jorge Lorza signed it into law on Friday, investing in areas like tourism and hospitality, revenue recovery and economic stabilization, and allocating roughly $20 million to water, sewer, broadband and infrastructure, $24 million to community and social disparities and 31 million to housing. We're going to be able to invest in hopefully the creation of hundreds of affordable uh, affordable units, which also allows for the creation of other market units over the coming years. So this is going to be a gift that keeps on giving. When it comes to housing in Providence, demand is high and stock is low. Home values are on the rise and Target 12 learned that despite the mayor's plan to cut the tax rate and increase the homestead exemption, more than half of Providence homeowners will see their taxes go up this year. Houses increasing in value, that's a really good thing, right? Especially if you're a property owner. It's a sign of a healthy and vibrant city that, that people want to be a part of. Alorza says if someone believes their assessment is in correct, they can appeal and the city will make an adjustment if it's wrong. Otherwise, he says his plan does what it can to help ease the burden on homeowners. With the range of you know bad decisions, uh, we wanted to choose uh, the decision that gave the most relief to the people who are most invested in the in the city, and that's you know people who you know, have purchased homes and people who live here. And the mayor says investors are buying up properties in Providence, one factor that's contributing to the rising values. If you'd like to see my full conversation with the mayor or get a more detailed breakdown of how those federal funds are going to be spent, just head to WPRI.com. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.